Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about DFT, dual factor training. Before I get into that topic, guys, I encourage you to stick around to the end of this video, find out how you can reach me with your questions and or comments. So in a previous video, I mentioned the topic of DFT, dual factor training. Someone asked me to elaborate on what it is, is it uh, useful, who can use it, that sort of thing. Um, dual factor training is basically, and I'm no expert, so I'm going to explain it the best, to the best of my ability. Dual factor training is basically focuses on two concepts. You have dual, one, two. You have fitness or strength levels uh, and performance, and you have fatigue, fatigue levels. So when you're fit, when you when you over time as you build up your strength or your fitness levels or your athletic performance levels, as long as your fatigue is uh, in a good place, your fitness levels can shine. Okay, with dual factor training. Um, basically, you push volume, you push volume, you push the, the workload, you push the effort, you push, 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 to the point where you just start to feel overreached, overreached, near that overtraining point, you're fatigued, you, need, you know you need a rest, um, you've been doing a lot of volume, you, maybe you're starting to feel a little bit worn down, that's when your fatigue levels are high. Now, at this point, your fatigue levels are so high that it's making you hard to perform optimally because your fatigue levels are pushing down your, your ability to um, perform as strong as you could in the gym or maybe uh, in your athletic endeavor, whatever it is. So the theory is um, you basically push, push, push close to that overreaching period and then you take kind of a rest, you take kind of a deload, okay? And then uh, that fatigue rescinds, and then your fitness levels, you're starting to recover. Now you can really shine. Now you can really hit the gun or, or hit the uh, gas pedal and, um, and really start to have your, uh, your strength levels shining, your athletic performance shining, so on and so forth. So that, that's just uh, one aspect of dual factor training. It's basically the concept that you have... You have to monitor both your fitness levels or your strength levels or your, your, uh, your, your athletic performance levels and your fatigue levels. When in training, a lot of times with DFT, um, you'll, you'll see uh, people pushing it, pushing their, uh, pushing their training close, close to that overreaching stage where they know they need a rest. How do you know you need a rest? You'll know you need a rest. When I was doing volume training, I was squatting three times a week. I would do basically... Uh, I, I would do, I use kind of dual factor training for several years. I would train for two weeks on, one week off. Um, there's many, many ways to apply this dual factor type training. I would go into the gym, I would squat three times a week, every other day, um, for a max heavy single on that given day. Now this is just one template, kids, don't follow this. It took me years to get this um, figured out and ironed out. So I'd do the heavy squatting three times a week, max daily single as much as I felt like that day. I would also deadlift three times a week. I was doing deadlift variations, so heavy floor pulls. Um, I would also do low rack pulls, um, which was my more moderate day heavy low rack pulls. And then uh, I would also do like a high rack pull and power shrug combination. I was also benching three times a week. So I was basically training each lift three times a week, lifting six times a week total for two straight weeks. By the end of the second week, with all this work, I was just feeling squashed. I was feeling dead. So that's, that's the point where my fitness levels, my fitness levels were outshining my ability to perform. So dual factor training. My fitness levels was, uh, were not allowing me to, uh, I was so close to that overreaching stage that I couldn't perform properly. Now don't panic, I didn't say the overtraining word, but let's just set that nonsense of those debates aside. There is a point in, in your performance, if you push hard enough, that you'll get to the point where you just wake up and you're like, holy crap, I need a rest, I can't perform 100% today. So uh, at that point in my training after two weeks, after two weeks, I would take a complete week off. Now, some guys could take a, you know, um, there was some debate that I could take a deload or whatever. I would take, I tried taking a complete week off. It worked for me. When I would get back into the gym after that week off, my fitness levels 
which were way or which were down here and my my fatigue my fatigue levels were back down here I would get back to the gym I would feel stronger I would be nailing PRs I would just be performing um, like a stud so that's basically dual factor training I hope the, I hope this video has helped some it's not really something you guys should even be concerned about um, until maybe you reach that late intermediate stage where you want to try maybe or that intermediate stage where you want to try increasing the volume where you want to try increasing the frequency um, so on and so forth the key point is that dual you know all the theories aside the take-home point in this video is really quite simple you don't need to know DFT you don't need to know dual factor training you don't really re need to remember the theory and how to apply it and worry about how to apply it and all that kind of good stuff for most of you guys all you need to know is that you know we have such an emphasis on deloading in this industry but you know I don't I'm not a big fan of of uh, deloading for no reason at all. When you see, when you feel those fatigue levels climbing up, where you just wake up and you feel fatigued, you don't feel like you're performing 100%. That's kind of dual factor training just happening in your workouts. Your fatigue is high, your performance is here. So, guys, basically, basic application for you guys, when you have those times in your life where you feel like you're just like, I've been going so hard for so long, just rest. Rest, rest, rest. It's okay to take three, four, five days off. It's okay to deload. Deload at that week. Take a few days off. Rest, recover. Let the joints recover. Let the body recover. And when you wake up and uh, you know you're starting to feel good again, then go go hit the gym again. So that's that's simple a simple way to apply uh, dual factor theory training. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, there is a link below. Come on over, ask me. It's a forum Q&A. You can ask me any questions you want on strength training, muscle building, diet, nutrition, supplementation, or motivation. So, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.